the Houston Astros train keeps on rolling. A nod to Bobby Dynamite up there on the train tracks in Houston. Shout out Bobby Dynamite. Um, shout out Bobby Dynamite. Uh, they are. They're they're rolling. And, you know, it begs the question of why. what has given us any other thought than the Houston Astros are the best team in the American League. And I know the Yankees have been playing better than anybody, but there is certainly a conversation of, the Astros are the best team in the American League. And another conversation of, are the Astros better than they were last year? And, you know, I certainly think they could be. And let's dive into that a little bit. Because now the Astros are absolutely rolling. They're first place in the AL West when everybody, rightfully so, is talking about the Angels and how good they are. But, you know, I, I think coming into this year, there was a little bit of a different feel from the outside because, oh my God, they let Carlos Correa get away and now you that core is broken up and are the Astros going to be good? And the answer to that question is not only are they good, they might even be better. And, and it's for a few reasons and obviously you don't lose a guy like Carlos Correa and directly become better at that position. Carlos Correa is one of, if not the best shortstops in the game of baseball. But Jeremy Pena has stepped in and been fantastic, which we'll dive into in a second. But I think this team very much so could be better than, than the team last year. And, and for me, a big part of that is the pitching. This pitching rotation has been phenomenal. Justin coming back has been perhaps the best pitcher in baseball. We're going to get into that in a minute with my top five pitchers in, in all of Major League Baseball. But he's been a top pitcher in the game of baseball this year. Framber Valdez has been fantastic. I mean, the the starting pitching this year is better than last year. That is just a fact. Let's look into that. Runs allowed per game. Last year, 4.06 runs per game. This year, 3.20, which is the second best in baseball. Opponent slugging percentage. Last year, sixth best in baseball. This year, the first best in baseball. Opponent OPS. Last year, the rotation was sixth best. This year, the best. I mean, the numbers just go on with how good it is this year. Starter ERA. Last year, fifth best. This year, second best. But here, right here, is the biggest difference when you look at the Detroit or the, the Houston Astros and their team this year and what makes them better. The bullpen. Last year's Astro ERA was 4.06, which is 15th in baseball, middle of the pack. This year's bullpen ERA, 2.64, the best in all of baseball. Hector Neris, Rafael Montero, Ryan Presley, Ryan Stanek, they're great. And right now they are the best bullpen in all of baseball. That's the difference. That is huge. And, and this is a, another fact. And this, is, this directly correlates to that bullpen. Last year, they had a .52 win percentage in one-run games. That's basically 50%. I'm not great at math, but .52 is pretty close, if not slightly better. That's last year. This year, they have a .615 win percentage in one run games. The starting rotation is getting it done. The bullpen is the best in baseball. That's what, in my opinion, makes this team better this year. The starting pitching and the bullpen. Lance McCullers looks to be on the comeback trail. He's now throwing. He's ramping up his velocity. I saw, uh, I saw over the weekend he threw. Got up to 80 miles an hour and said he was very encouraged. So you add... Justin into that rotation, at the top of that rotation, you have another year of Framber Valdez getting better. Luis Garcia, Jose Urquidy are all getting better. And then you add back in Lance McCullers, who was one of the best pitchers in the American League last year. That rotation is slept on on how good it really is. 
You add on top of that the best bullpen in baseball, and then you look at the lineup that lost Carlos Correa and adds Jeremy Pena in that spot when all when all thought, hey, is this gonna that's gonna be a pretty big downgrade. Look, Carlos Correa is perhaps the best shortstop in baseball, but Jeremy Pena has been no slouch. He has been fantastic in that spot. He has been every bit of the production of Correa this year, if not better. It's been remarkable. He's one of the top players in all of Major League Baseball in war as a rookie, as a rookie that's filling in with, I don't think this is a stretch to say, the biggest shoes to fill in the entire league. You lose Carlos Correa on a team that has been to five consecutive ALCSs, and then you're supposed to step in right there for the guy that just got paid more than any shortstop in the history of the game? Well, yes, he was expected to do that, and he's gone above and beyond, and he's been fantastic. I mean, he has... In 122 at-bats, 7 homers, 21 RBIs, he has a 2.2 war. That's every bit as good as any shortstop out there. I'm not saying he's the best shortstop in the league, but he has been more than serviceable from from what, what they lost. He's been fantastic. So what what Jeremy Pena has brought to the team is another just a sense of depth, and this team... The Houston Astros is rolling. They haven't lost a beat. The pitching staff has been great. Jeremy Pena has been great. And specifically, Justin has been great. And that's what I want to talk about right now. I am here to kick off the Justin Verlander for Cy Young Award campaign. That's right. Justin's going to come back after almost two years of not pitching, and he's going to win the Cy Young Award. It is time to start talking about it, and I'm going to start talking about it right now because the numbers, they speak for themselves. Justin ranks, and this is amongst all starting pitchers that qualify, tied for fourth in innings. He leads Major League Baseball in wins. He has the fewest hits allowed. He's one of only three pitchers that that has allowed less than 30 hits. He now has a 1.22 ERA this season. At age 39, a year after having Tommy John surgery. Let's not, let's not gloss over that. Just over a year after having Tommy John surgery, at now 39 years old, he is leading the league, all of the league, in these categories. ERA, 1.22. Only The only starter under a 1.5, might I add. Lowest whip, 0.72. Lowest opponent batting average, 161. The only starter below 180, by the way. The lowest opponent on base percentage, 205. The only starter under 230. The lowest opponent slugging percentage, 236. The only starter under 270. (laughs) And the lowest opponent OPS, 441. The only starting pitcher that's under 500. He's the best pitcher in baseball, and it's really not even close right now. That's what those numbers say. That's what I say. And that's why we're kicking off the Justin Verlander for for Cy Young campaign. That's what's happening. He now has 3,062 strikeouts. He's 17 behind Max Scherzer, who's out for six to eight weeks. He's 23 behind John Smoltz, and he's 32 behind CeCe Sabathia. When he passes those guys, he will be 16th all-time on the Major League Baseball strikeout list. That's pretty cool. That's pretty special. Justin Verlander's been around for so long that the first three MLB batters he faced were Grady Sizemore, Coco Crisp, and Travis Hafner. He's 39 years old, and he's allowed seven earned runs in eight games. He's now thrown... Three consecutive starts without giving up a run. It is special, it is unprecedented, and it is hopefully en route to winning a Cy Young Award again at age 39, coming off of Tommy John, and it should be talked about all the time. This is special, what we are seeing. Dusty Baker the manager of the Houston Astros, who has been around the game of baseball and managed 
forever, played the game with, with Hank Aaron. He has been around the game for a long, long time, and he has managed many, many Hall of Famers. He said after Justin's start the other night, this guy is unlike almost any other player that I have ever had. That's pretty special. The numbers are special. The comments from the people around him are special. He is special. And to be honest with you, he's a hell of a brother. And he's a special brother. And I hope this is just the beginning of the Justin Verlander Cy Young campaign. Producer Conrad, this is this is special what we're seeing, man. It absolutely is special, you know? And uh, talking about your brother and his performance is one of those things that we've had the conversations where it's not always something that you want to talk about and address. And, you know, it's it's one of those things that it must be addressed now because he's the top guy in baseball. I told you earlier, <laughs> I don't care what his name is. I don't care what his last name is. If this dude was doing what he's doing right now, we would be talking about him probably even that much more. Like, it's it's a situation yeah. where he, he is just so impressive this year. And a couple weeks ago on episode on Thursday, you know, for, for everyone out there that didn't hear it, can you kind of give the explanation of how a guy that was a triple crown winner as a pitcher, a Cy Young winner 10 years ago, has turned this around as age 39 to where it's like watching a great in the post end of their career, not even post end of their career, just like part of their career where it just all has come together. He's just painting. It's no longer just overpowering. He's painting people. And it's unbelievable. He's 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 pitching. He's pitching. And you know, Justin comes up and he's one of the one of the best pitchers in baseball. And and now um, I think it's fair to say that he is one of the best pitchers of all time. And, you know, it's been it's been a journey and it's been a story of almost two different careers. You have the career where Justin's out there throwing 103 with a banger of a curveball and striking out everybody. And he just had stuff that was better than, than we've ever seen. There aren't many pitchers that, are, that start off the game throwing 92, 94, and then in the ninth inning, in his 105th pitch of the game, he's hitting 103 miles an hour. You know, that, that's what he's done. That's what he did at the beginning of his career. And he was able to get guys out that way. And now at age 39, coming off of Tommy John surgery, look, he doesn't have that stuff. He's not throwing 103, but he's still, look, don't get me wrong. He's still throwing 98 miles an hour. He hit 98.3 the other day. I mean, that's well above, well above league average. As, that's incredible. So the stuff is still there, but he's learned how to pitch. He now is is a master of his craft he has he has the craft he masters his craft like a like a soft tossing lefty while still having the stuff of a flame throwing righty that's why he's here now because he's in that video room analyzing everything taking notes getting behind the scene getting about you know looking at the batters from from his next start taking notes knowing how he wants to approach guys, talking to his catcher. And then he goes out there and executes with his well above average stuff. But he's just a pitcher now. As, a thro as opposed to a thrower, he's a pitcher. That's why we're seeing what we're seeing. That's why we've seen, I don't want to say a shift, because his entire career he's been really good. But if you want to ask the question of, how's Justin still doing this at 39 years old? Well, it's simple. He's taken really, really good care of himself. He's learned how to master his craft with video. Learned how to look at his mechanics, repeat his delivery. He's also learned how to prepare for new opponents. And he's also been able to thrive by keeping his stuff almost as good as it has been. He's still throwing 98 miles an hour. You add all of those together, and you get the best pitcher in baseball at age 39 years old. That's how you get that. So, yes, Houston Astros are rolling. Justin is rolling. Good things happening down there in Houston. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.